Now to our new series called Two Americas. It's our hope to find the untold stories in Northeast Wisconsin and introduce you to perspectives you might not have heard before. Tonight, an in-depth look at our local cheese industry. NBC 26's Caroline Hogan connects with a family-owned dairy farm fighting through the challenges of the industry and the pandemic. It's really an enjoyable thing. At Union Star Cheese Factory in Fremont, making a product every day and then having you appreciate it. The cheese is fresh. Somebody has to get up in the middle of the night and make the donuts. Same with cheese curds. We start at four o'clock in the morning, so they're ready by nine o'clock. But before it's this, it's this. A short day is probably 12, 14 hours. It's a three generation owned dairy farm dating back to 1900, run by Mark Harness and his son. Mark started milking when he was only 12. What makes it so important to keep it a family business? Well, I think it's the only way it could run. It's, you know, you take pride in ownership and everything, and you just want to pass it down to the next generation. Mark is one of many family owned farms in Wisconsin. They say they work with a passion big cheese makers don't have, and that's what makes them stand out. The big co ops, you're just there working for them. You know, there's no premiums or no incentive to go to do any better. To compete against those big co-ops, all their resources and all their cows is a lot of work. Hundreds of family farms in Wisconsin have faded away in recent years, but Mark has found his niche and is going strong. It's a lot of satisfaction and looking over your shoulder and seeing what you've accomplished during the day. But that doesn't mean there aren't tough days. It's been probably the wildest ride in the dairy industry in the last 18 months that uh, anyone can remember. Jim Umhofer is the executive director of the Wisconsin Cheesemakers Association. He said the pandemic brought a brand new set of challenges like employees shortages due to lower income and less retail sales. The milk price absolutely tanked in the spring of 2020 and everyone thought, well, is this the end of the industry? Because it was, it was well, as you know, all the restaurants closed and, and the world shut down and and there was even a little time when unfortunately some milk got dumped on the ground because there was no one to buy the products. Since then, the industry has fought back. We have to work, so it isn't like we have an option of working online. Dave and Mark are proof that not even the one-two punch of a changing farming landscape and a global pandemic can take down the Wisconsin Cheese Company. Every day is a good day because you're doing something you want to do. In Nina, Caroline Hogan, NBC 26.